If there's anything you should know about me, it's that I have IBS. And <laughs> I need you to know the liquid fury that ran through my veins <laughs> in that moment. Do you prefer tattoos by the ones you did on yourself? Of course. Yeah. Yeah, I sharpened a guitar string. I did the whole thing where I ordered some machines online. $10 Chinese tattoo machine we bought off of uh, eBay or whatever. Homemade ballpoint pin machine. With like a little like poke. This is like when she 14. was in prison. Yeah, definitely in prison. Took a Walkman apart and built her own machine and tattooed with a guitar string <laughs> <laughs> in our living room. <laughs> Can we curse on this? Yeah. Pick and poke bullshit. I basically did a kanji symbol on my friend and she was super drunk. I had a tattoo machine. I had no idea what I was doing. I was tattooing with the needle out like so far and I tattooed the bottom of my foot and uh, well, it's not there anymore. I pretty much just like carved to the bottom of my foot. It was not fun. My first tattoo was on myself as well too. Yeah. And I'm surprised I didn't catch anything. Me too. And I drew up this like Virgin Mary, uh, like the praying hands one with like all the rays around it. And then there was like a row, like three roses. And then like also some wings at the bottom. And it was like from his ankle to his knee. And okay. And I hand stenciled it and everything. <laughs> and then um, he was like, you know what, you what? Should, you should tattoo it on me. And I'm like, uh, okay. I brought a machine. I didn't know like exactly how it works. I brought it to like, her apartment, she got drunk and she was like, yeah, tattoo me, like. <laughs> we were drunk, like in my, I was like in a, like an armchair and I did like on the outside of this calf. So I was like this for like, it felt like nine hours doing this bullshit tattoo on my leg. First tattoo I ever did was a dead parrot on my friend's foot. It took me six hours and it was like. No, nah, I think I, um, my first tattoo, I fucked up my little cousin. It was supposed to be a bull, but it looked more like a moose and we didn't finish. So it doesn't have a mouth to this day. So every time I, um, I see him, I have to look at that little moose bull. I was 15, my dad loves to yell about everything. And he walked in and saw me tattooing myself and he sat down and watched TV and I went, he's pissed. I was yeah. 14 in a really sketchy basement and uh, my homie's cousin was like tattooing himself. And I was like, bro, fucking give me one. And he was like, no, you have to go to the store and steal me a case of beer. And if you do that, I'll tattoo you. So I went to the store and stole a case of beer and tattooed him. And then he got drunk and passed out, so I tattooed myself. I was dating a guy and he had a bunch of tattoos. Most of them were pretty bad. So he was like, yeah, if you wanna like fill in this outline, do some shading, whatever. So I did that. It looked decent, but he didn't care because he was pretty much covered in bad tattoos anyway. So yeah, perfect like first person to tattoo. Yeah, mine was a kanji. Yeah. Dude, nothing crazy. What did it say? I don't remember. I don't yeah. think he knows. It probably wasn't even accurate, whatever they thought. They, they were never getting. are, dude. It's never, right. ever, ever. Oh, this sick ass, like, I love Slipknot tribal tat I got down here. This right Did here. that, yeah, I got the tattoo, uh, uh, the Hux Balling professional tattoo equipment kit that came with everything but what you needed to be to Did be a tattooer. Did you powdered pigment for that? Oh, dude, they gave me singles, tight threes and sevens, and I outlined it with a single and colored it with a seven round. Bro, I think it's tight as It's in there. I uh, ran into a guy at Subway, fat kid, being around for and um, I was like, yo, I'm gonna do tats. Come check me out. And we were like right across the street. And he was like, yeah, bro. So he came in there and he got a sweet tribal tat on his leg that uh, I did that. And uh, then a couple years later, I redid it because it's I tattooed, <laughs> my first tattoo, I actually tattooed myself. I tattooed my stomach right here. These like bird silhouettes, like the white girl Pinterest ones. You tattooed ones. your stomach? And I sat like this the entire, it took like, took like eight minutes and I had like a, I think it was like a balled up t-shirt in my mouth because I thought it was gonna hurt a lot more like when you're like getting into, you know, your leg, you know, sawed off or something like that. Why am I not surprised? Is it still there? No, I'm getting it lasered off, it's terrible. It's uh, it's like a new school match that I thought was a cool idea at the time. Um, it, it, I didn't know what I was doing, I was terrible. Uh, so I really, I knew I was gonna fuck it up and it made the most sense to fuck up myself rather than fuck up anybody else. I was, uh, for some reason I was less nervous about that than, uh, than doing it on a friend, but yeah, it's terrible. Man, I remember mine. Mine was a koi fish. It wasn't really that good at all. It was a very badly done koi fish. And I remember specifically going out of the line. I was doing the line and I just went out of the line and I kept going, dude. And I did a line about that long coming out of the, t the koi fish. Oh my God. I had to put an extra fin 
<laughs> it's got six now, seven. Yeah, I don't even know. Uh, the very first tattoo I ever did was a small heart. I did it on one of my really good friends. She um, had it already. She had like a smaller heart and it kind of looked like poop because she got an apprentice to do it. And then she let another apprentice, which was myself, touch the heart up. It looked like shit after I was done, but it was my first tattoo. And about a year after my apprenticeship, I covered it up with a beautiful portrait of her mom. I, do I have to break it out? Yeah, yeah. you got to. This is, this, is, uh, this is like 16 years old. It's not that, well, yeah, it's bad. It's pretty bad, yeah, it's, it's pretty bad. Yeah. I, I actually, I did the raise later. That was like me trying to experiment with, with mag work. I was like, ooh, this is fancy, I can shave. Um, but yeah, this is the first tattoo right here. See, people, like you can lines? get better over the years. It happens. <laughs> Wait, we were hardcore, right? Yeah, you were. Connecticut hardcore. I was so hardcore, my dad was there coaching me. <laughs> Hardcore. Oh man, no supervision. Dude, so what was the tattoo? Connecticut Hardcore. That's what you wrote on him? The, the cross with the C. Oh, the C. yeah! Connecticut Hardcore, yes, for sure. That's man. the dope. Yes. But then, in a tattoo shop, I did some shitty tribal. And that was my first tattoo. Wait a minute, there's not shitty tribal? My mentor was like, you wanna do your first tattoo today? And I was like, yeah. And then I panicked and I drew this like dorky little bird. And I was like, yeah, let's do it. Cause they were like, pick a drawing now. And I was like, nah. and I was like, I just drew it super fast. And so I have this little owl on my leg. It started with my uh, mentor, his crazy biker in Key West. And uh, and I had to like push to get it going. Cause I, I was on like that one year apprenticeship plan. And I was like- <laughs> One year apprenticeship plan. That's like six months now, a month. Yeah, I wanted to like get it going faster. So I, uh, I said, who did that tattoo? And I knew who did it, it was the other apprentice. Mm -hmm. And he's like, Christian did it. And I was like, ah, like, well, that line looks a little shaky and that looks a little <laughs> rough. And he's like, and Christian's like tattooing in the back. He's like, what, you think you can do better? I was like, I definitely do better than that. Cause you weaseled your way into doing the your first tattoo? That's awesome. <laughs> so, so he's like, all right, sit down, let's do it. And uh, and Christian stopped tattooing and they all came around me and, and my mentor is this big biker dude named Goldie. And, uh, <laughs> And, he, and he's like, Christian, pass me the scissors. I'm gonna cut off a dread every time he, uh. he, he, he up. And, and he had the scissors like over a dread. Like I had long dreads at the yeah, time. Cut, awesome. cut them all off. Because it came out awesome. <laughs> I think Britt might remember Shut the first up. tattoo that she did, Britt. So I apprenticed with Kelly for five and a half long years, wonderful years. She had me do my first tattoo on her, no pressure. I surprised uh, her with it. That's what you're supposed to do. So one day I had her set up my whole station mm -hmm. uh, like I was going to do a tattoo. Um, and she had drawing assignments beforehand. And uh, then I was like, uh, all right, get your gloves on. You're going to tattoo this design on me. Don't worry, in true Massachusetts form, it is a Duncan cup. Uh, but instead of the two Ds, it's two hearts because we love each other. Uh, and then like a week later, we went to the, the first two of a kind event, which is an event that was held at a shop in Florida, uh, where it's just like all these like just incredible tattooers from all over the world doing like a different collab every day. So little baby me and all my heroes. And Kelly's like, oh my God, look, Britt tattooed me and pulls off a sock that is stuck to it because <laughs> it's on her ankle. And she's like, and shows everyone that I've ever looked up to <laughs> this half healed, scabbed up first tattoo. I made sure every single one of her heroes yeah. saw her very first tattoo as it was still healing. It was all uphill from there. <laughs> My buddy's friend got out of jail and they heard I drew and I was like 15. He goes, hey man, I heard you draw. I was like, yeah. He goes, you're gonna tattoo me. I was like, okay. I am? Well, I was like scared of him. <laughs> Cause he's like this big dude and he's like, you're gonna f tattoo me, dude. And then I tattooed him and it came out terrible. It was his friend or his cousin or something. We're young and I'm like, all right, we're gonna go party. And we show up, everybody's drinking tall cans, 40s and stuff. And he's like, I heard you draw. You have to do this for me. So you're like forced into it, but it was like, it set me on the best journey that I could possibly think of. It's I not know, Slipknot, right? it just looks like Slipknot. Okay. Yeah, people equal shit, right? Or maggots or something, I don't know. <laughs> I don't even think I've ever heard that. Slipknot? Oh. Am what I an American? It, uh, it's uh, Epstein. That's, is that a Slipknot joke? I don't Get know. It? That, I don't uh -huh. know that, that was, Hung himself? He didn't. Too soon? Or did he? <laughs> what? I don't know what that even means. It didn't slip, it, it worked proper. Next. <laughs> Next? <laughs> Next. <laughs> <laughs> 
there's anything you should know about me, it's that I have IBS. 